Z is how it is pronounced. Like, in a sentence. Yeah. Like, if I have a word with a Z in it. Like, zebra. Yeah. It's not zeb... Shit. (laughs) He's got me. (laughs) Hello, everyone, and welcome to Playing Favourites, the podcast in which I and my good friend Harry discuss our favourites in a variety of different topics. My favourite colour is olive green. My favourite animal is a llama. My favourite co-host... Is, is um, completely unprepared because I yeah, cause went you... right into it after no, sinking. No, no. The reason I was unprepared is, is that the first two-word colour we've had? Uh, yes. Oh, probably, well, actually. that's what threw me. Sorry, yeah. Your favourite co-host is learning the alphabet for the first time. Luke, I want to ask you this. Did you do, you know when you were learning the alphabet, did you have kicking cuz and curly cuz? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, this is like a universal concept that is also ripe for comedy. It's such a weird thing, right? Because the letter C, yeah. yeah. How often do you use it as a k? Sorry, it's just occurred to me, everyone. This is gonna be one of those episodes. This is like fictional bears, where it's <laughs> talking about the most bizarre, abstract concepts. It's weird Look. about kicking cuz. Sorry, yeah, no. You you were saying, did I ever use? Did I ever what? Sorry. How often do do you see the letter C as a k? As a k, like they make a k mm-hmm. sound. Like like think of how many words can you come up with that have. C is a K. Okay, well, there's chocolate. Oh. oh, wait, no. There's chocolate. Chocolate, yeah. There's caress. No. Yeah. Uh, yes, actually. Thank you. No, you're right. There's... Oh, shit, I think that's all of them. Fuck. Nope. Yeah, I mean, I said that, and I realized how wrong I was. Oh, though. right. Okay, yeah. you've got cobra. Cook. <laughs> cook. Cake. Uh, cook. Calibrate. Yeah, there's like a load of them. Okay, yeah. This, but, this is a... No I mean... Worked. Now we're just immediately highlighting one of the major weaknesses of the English language, right? Which is... I mean, like, why why we got C and K? There's a whole bunch of redundancy, like, weird redundancy problems with, like... Because then you also got Q. You can make, like, a Q, like, Qatar, like the country Qatar. I guess that's their problem. They name the country. But, like, a queen could just be KW. K-W-E-E-N. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like that's that sounds like internet slang for the future. Is people will be calling each other queens, but with Queen. K W, yeah. You know, it goes in cycles, right? Like in in the past, people would, you know, swap out the word U for the letter U, and so maybe like alternative spelling will become a thing. So you know, people will, will drop like Q, like you know Q and Q U and C, and it'll just be K. Maybe it'll just be C. Maybe the curly curly curve will make a comeback. We'll make a curly curve comeback. <laughs> maybe that'll happen, Luke. I don't know language. I mean. And that is kind of one of the things that language do, right? It changes. Yeah. I mean, we we I think we've hit like a pretty stagnant point in English history because like even like 200 years ago, yeah. It was still up in the air what we were up to. And you know, even now, you know, every now and then there's a new word. New words get added to dictionaries all the time. Yeah, I guess um, that's true. But New letters don't happen very often. <laughs> that is a good point. We've sort of standardised that as a point. Have you have you seen like the the evolution of the English alphabet? Like, because I mean, yeah, we we had there are a lot of English letters that we just don't use anymore. There are all kinds of great charts, and there's one I'm looking at that'll be in the show notes. But like, they just come from just the most ridiculous shit, like like Egyptian hieroglyphs and stuff. They're like nothing like the letter we have today, but somehow. It's you know made, it's evolved this way and now been standardised. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, because we, we use the Roman alphabet. Did you know, um, did you know that the, here we go? Here's a what a wonderful bit of playing favorites trivia. This is the letter the letters F U V W and Y. F U Luke all all have they all come from the same root hieroglyph. I don't know how to say this hieroglyph. I don't know if you can. It's, it's a little it's a little lollipop. Uh, yeah, it's a little lollipop. Yeah, a little circle with oh, the yeah. coming down, and that somehow gave us all these all these letters in the modern day. Language is fucking weird, dude. Do you think we should go back to hieroglyphs? No, I've I've you know I mean, do you ever do that thing as a kid where you just send messages in wingdings? <laughs> no. Do people know right, what wingdings well, are? Everyone knows what wingdings. The little are, right? symbol symbol letters that you can do. Is it? Is like a particular. Oh wait, font? can I say a letter from the wingdings alphabet? My favorite, your favorite letter. No, because it it's not. Te- it's not. Te- is it an alphabet? Is it technically an alphabet? It is. Yeah. Wingdings. Yeah. Right. It's a series. Of, I found that they've got a Wikipedia page. Thank Christ. A series of dingbat fonts. Oh, I love the word dingbat. Oh my god. 
uh, that renders letters as a variety of symbols. So I guess it is a font, but um, yeah, so it just has symbols instead of instead of letters. And you're well, you're saying you used to communicate with this. Yeah, you could do because I mean they all, you know, they all connect to a specific letter. Yeah, um, I guess you can. You can just send a message with wingdings, and people will figure it out. But if we're doing that, that's getting into like cipher territory. Do you know what my do you know what my favorite my favorite cipher is, Luke? Is it a uh, Caesar? No. Of course not, because I mean that's the most boring. It's the most cipher. boring and obvious one. No, my favorite is called a pig pen cipher. I don't, okay. know if you, I don't know if you've ever heard of this, but it's like... I think I am familiar. But it's like, um, listen at home, imagine you've got like a noughts and crosses or tic-tac-toe grid or whatever, and it's just, you've got an empty one, and then you've got another one that's got dots in all the boxes, and then you've got a big a big cross, a big X, and then you've also got another big cross or big X with dots in all of the sort of gaps between the, the four gaps in the, in the sort of pits of the X. And what that is, is that correlates each of those segments either an empty one or a, a one with a dot in correlates to a letter now i've quickly realized how difficult this is to explain yeah. over audio mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. but luke i know you're looking at it right now what do you think pig pen cipher cool is it cool it's one of those ciphers that is kind of cool but also like you could never actually use it for a code anymore well, you could mix up the letters. So with the, with the pigment cipher in your noughts and crosses grid and your X or whatever, each space is assigned to a letter. So in this case, the top left yeah. is A, top middle is B, etc. I suppose you, you could can mix you them could all up, feasibly mix them. But then, like, you know, it's the solution that every every cipher you just wait, you just like, okay, what's the most common one? It's like, okay, that's E, yeah. probably. How about how about this look? How about I? What we do is we put a little, we come up with a little little message. And we put it into the show notes, and we cipher it with a pig pen cipher. And listeners who feel so inclined can then go solve the pig pen cipher and get a little message from us. How does that sound? You can do that. <laughs> I don't, look. All right, fine. They get a little message from I'm a, me. I'm a busy man. I don't have time for pig pen ciphers, Harry. Fine. All right. Well, I guess I'll take care of that. Listeners know that I care at the very least. I care about making a cool little. I thought this would be a cool little activity for the listener. Like like the little you know plague favorites kids book. Yeah, the the annual. It's got a crossword puzzle. <laughs> it's got a little oh the playing favorites annual for you to solve. Twenty twenty one. Oh, that'd be that'd be amazing. It's got like little trivia facts about Coloring us. Coloring book. Yeah, it's just like oh, did you know that until he was seventeen, Luke's favorite type of pasta was linguine. <laughs> but now- <laughs> Which is yeah. a possible spoiler for favorite type of pasta? I don't know. I mean, favorite maybe, pasta. Maybe don't say too much more on that one. But um, I feel like I feel like we've already gotten distracted. Anyway, yeah, language. So like, <laughs> back, back to language. I wonder if that. So usually we need to go to the list of blank page. <laughs> list for, for these Wikipedia for these uh, playing favorites episodes. Yeah. Don't think I need that one for... Uh... Maybe, though, but you say that. A lot of people can't just start the alphabet in the middle. I have trouble doing that, to be fair. Uh, Go from... Go from G. G. H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O-P-Q-R-S-T-U-V. What, com- what comes that? after S? Uh, R- T. Ooh, nearly got you there. Okay. I did nearly Maybe this is easier than I thought. Because you just sort of... Because everyone has that rhythm, you know? Everyone has that. That yeah. A B C D E F some, for some reason, and then also the secret twenty seventh letter of Elemento. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's not twenty seventh. H I J K. Like, oh yeah, four other letters. That's a good point. H I J K L M N O P. How long did it take you to learn the alphabet? No idea. I think I. I don't. I, know. Rem- I distinctly remember being in a classroom once and my teacher getting really frustrated. Yeah, because me and a bunch of my classmates didn't know the alphabet. It it, it was probably like year two did, or year one. Did you know so the I letters? Like... Did you know the individual letters, but you didn't know the order? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was also I mean, I to read. Why? How do we have an order to the alphabet? It is it doesn't make I mean, any sense. Why? A good question, isn't? It? I don't really know why. Like, it literally doesn't need one. The alphabet could be in any order. You could theoretically. Oh my god! Be... I want to teach my kids that. <laughs> what are you going to teach in a, a different com- order? You need a different song. C Q R S W I X. Oh, okay. 
Th- you can't move W, though, is the problem. Why not? Because it kind of... I mean, W is the only multi-syllable letter. Nah, it doesn't matter. I thought you were going to say that they haven't been introduced to regular U yet, and it would be like shown as a sequel <laughs> yeah, I mean, before yeah, the original. Yeah, they have to get those in chronological order. <laughs> yeah, the time which they were developed. Oh, man, that's a really, it's a really weird little, little thing. I also, I thought what you might have alluded to there, which maybe not quite, is the idea, and this was pointed out to me, I think, on the internet, and I, it, it fucks with my mind Most sometimes. Things. Yeah, you can't look at a word without reading it. An English word that you know, or in your native language. You I think I could do it. I don't think you could. I've got, as as we I established in episode 13, I've got One Night Ultimate Werewolf right, ne- right next to me. I'm looking at all those words, and they, they're just shouting at me. They're shouting at my eyes. I mean, yeah, it is, it is. It's pretty tricky, huh? I'm trying to do it. I'm sorry. This is terrible podcasting material. I'm just looking around my room Harris at words. staring at words. Oh, shit. Look at that one. Nah, How do you feel about W being the only multi-syllable letter? Wait, oh my god, you're right. Sorry, I completely glossed over that when you said it earlier. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I was surprised that you weren't... W. More... Yeah. X. Three syllables. A. We don't have yeah. a, we don't have a two-syllable one. H. <laughs> you're you're going to find it difficult yeah, okay. to find w. I don't know. I also... W... I know it's... You know, I'll, brief i don't know you know if i was to pick a least favorite letter i'd be inclined to say w because i don't know i like the fact that it's the only multi-syllable one but it's not a w is it kind of is it used to be it's close you know it's close it's more like a double v really yeah but as i was saying that i used to because with my surname uh, starting with a w right we i usually used to be in the w gang at school because there's a disproportionate mm. amount of surnames that begin with w and you're all at the back because it's all in alphabetical order and you're all merged together in every lesson and that was pretty cool actually i felt like i was part of some exclusive clique um yeah the w, cool 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 w club the w club that's what we call ourselves um so that was pretty sweet i don't did you have that with c with a curly cut name not really there aren't many well there's quite a lot of c names i suppose but it, we didn't have uh we didn't we didn't really have like a connection yeah ultimately. that's that's fair I don't know. where were you we i guess you'd be right at the front of the right class the right yeah. yeah oh man Never first, but <laughs> oh. I'm quite glad I don't have an A first name, last name. Though. Oh god, that'd be awful. Yeah, like because you're all, you're going first. Never. I can't think of many. Alton. Yeah, that's one. Uh, a- 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 Abel Abelsworth. <laughs> <laughs> Might have made I mean, that one literally up. any worth. Adamson. Adamsworth. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Or yeah. Adams actually now. Adams I think my, is a <laughs> yeah, that's surname. Good. Totally makes sense. I do. I just find it weird. Why do we have W? And because it's W, right? Like if yeah. you were to pronounce W. Yeah, W. W. I mean, I guess it doesn't. Re- a B C D <laughs> E F G H. I'm gonna go through the whole alphabet just to get to W. Okay. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V X Y and Z. That is, a li- it's very silly. I used to. That was like my first ever party trick. Was I could say the alphabet phonetically. Abacada efaga her ejaca nilama apa querasa te ova wa x yes. How do you say x? And then this will be where the conversation would go. I had this whole thing planned out. How do you? Say- and then people, people would be like, "Oh yeah, you say it. You say it, you say it, x." And I'm like, "No, you fucking don't. You don't go." No, you don't. Because, like, like, I think they're thinking, like... Yeah, it's like, a X-ray. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, it would be, a, like, a Z sound. It would be, like, a Z. It would be, you know, xylophone. No, oh, you mean an Xlophone. <laughs> like, xlophone. How do you think words would sound if we had to pronounce them all, like, phonetically? If we, well, like... Oh, my God, that would be... I'm trying to think. I'm looking for... A, do I have a word anywhere? So, the word werewolf would be... We we were. Yeah, no, be werewolf. Werewolf. I was this. trying to think of how we'd say playing favorites. P- uh, so so. Player. Player. Playing. Playing favorites. Playing favorites. Maybe be play. Playing. 
<laughs> no, because favorites is a heart because you've got the O and the U. Yeah, you've got a bunch of silent so it's letters. Favo you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, God forbid, should we spell it in the American and inferior way? But I guess that would be easier because then you've got the that would be way much easier. Yeah, but um, <laughs> playing Favo. <favorites>. Playing Favo. <laughs> It's so fun. Favorite. This feels like a like a drama warm up. Like like you've got to yeah loosen up your mouth, get your get your jaw moving. Yeah. I'm, I'm not looking, looking around. Black black playing playing. This is <laughs> the worst. This is this is ridiculous. Anyway, that's kind of the point. All these words, all these letters, get disrespected. We don't even pronounce them right. Yeah, I don't. Know. Well, well, pronunciation is something that that varies. In a, in a weird I mean, way. Because, yeah. like, especially when, when you share alphabets. Because I've got, on, on my mind, a bit of research. I've got a load of links to Wikipedia pages for various different alphabets. Because I know if there's yeah. the Latin one that we use. There's the Cyrillic one, which is, like, Russian but old. Or, yeah. And then there's the Phoenician alphabet, which I didn't know was a thing. Mm-hmm. And also the Arabic alphabet. They're all the ones I've got. But then, like, mm-hmm. and so they're all they're all their own things, and like their own languages use use those. But then, like, for example, I know uh, someone who I live with someone who's fluent in Welsh, and they use mm. the same alphabet as us. Just, yeah. They do not use the same pronunciation as us at all not for any close, of them. Not even. It's ridiculous. Like their their vowels. And I'm sorry if we do have any Welsh speaking listeners. Their vowels sound like cries of pain. <laughs> Uh. It's literally, it's like ah, e, uh, uh, ah. <laughs> Which I know is incorrect, and I'm I'm generalizing to a point. But it is still, I think it's still a b uh, a e i o u, and then I think mm, maybe w. Well, maybe I think they have an extra. Like, it's like they've got w as well, or something, or or y like, as well. A vowel? Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. Blech. I've quickly pulled up some Google image results, but none of it's giving me info. I mean, I used to, so I used to be able to do the German and French alphabets phonetically. Um, German and French alphabets? Well, it's the same alphabet, but... Yeah. Um, well, no, well, it's the same alphabet, but... I mean, it's not the same alphabet, right? Yeah. Like it's, yeah, it's, it is. It's, no, because they have umlauts and shit. Oh, okay, they've got accents and, you know, little dashes on, on top like of letters. Like, it's based yeah. off the same alphabet. It's all Latin. Yeah. But are they separate letters? Because, like, I, I would agree with you in, like, the, like, the Swedish alphabet or whatever. They, they've got, um, I think, the O with the line through it? Or yeah. maybe that's, like... No, I, I know the one. Yeah. Oh, it's Norwegian. Pardon me. Okay. Yeah. There we go. That's a cool... That is a cool letter. I don't think it, I don't think I could have it as my favorite uh, letter of the alphabet. It? I think it's, like, a... It's like a uh. It depends on the language, huh? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Palpatine would pronounce it. And this, this, because it, this isn't a part of my alphabet, so I couldn't call. It, I don't know if I could call it my favorite letter of the alphabet. But this is a cool to one. To be fair, oh, with the line we haven't point. even spoken about my actual favorite alphabet. Ooh, what's your favorite alphabet? It's obviously the Greek alphabet. Like, are you? Ooh. Oh, of it's course. Oh my god. Letters, oh my god. You're absolutely right. I didn't even. It didn't even cross my mind. It's got like easily the best letters: alpha, beta, <laughs> gamma. Do you think when they're learning the the Greek alphabet, they teach it in the same sing-song way that we do? Alpha, alpha beta, beta, gamma, gamma delta, 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 epsilon, epsilon zeta, zeta, eta, theta, yota, kappa, lambda, mu, nu, <laughs> z. I don't know how to pronounce that one. Omicron pi, rho, sigma, tau, epsilon phi. Chi Psi Omega, look at me. Woo! Wow. There you go. What a lovely little, that was great. little rendition. What's your favourite Greek letter, Luke? That's, that's all so good. Re- I mean, what a great answer. I mean, it's so it's, good. It's just such a good... It means something. <laughs> yeah, you know? that's true. And I it mean, looks different. Mainly that's a meaning that's been attributed to it, but that's okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I definitely... Because Alpha is also a good contender, but Alpha, alpha just looks like an A good. is the thing. Whereas Omega has a cool fucking symbol. Cool yeah. name, cool symbol. Yeah, I think it's a great one. I really like the word uh, Omicron or Omicron. Omicron's good. But it's just an O. Um, yeah. Sigma is good. It's got a cool symbol. Yeah, Sigma's sig- sig- good. Oh, it's yeah, used in maths. Obviously, like a sideways M, capital M. Um, there's Delta. I like the word Delta because also Delta is a geographical feature. It's like if you have a river with lots of little islandets. Yeah. It's a, and stuff like it's you've got delta. delta. Yeah, it's very good. Um Although that is, that's a little tri- oh, that's a little triangle. That's what the, that's what a delta yeah, is. Yeah. And then the epsilon, which just looks like a capital E, but 
What a great word. There's just so many great words. Like, yeah, right? Like, I don't know why, what makes them so good. I mean, I don't, you know, I'm not too fussed about moo and new. <laughs> I kind of like them. Oh, I, I can just see there's the pronunciation here as well. So, so moo yeah, is pronounced like, like the M in music. M. Yeah, and omega is apparently pronounced like the or, or in saw. Oh, wow. Which, okay. Like what? Or. Or. Or, like, the word or. Yeah. Oh, now I, mean, I didn't know this. this. This is really interesting. So, Z- Zeta. I assumed they were pronounced like how they were said. Yeah. Z- yeah. Oh, <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Omega Delta. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That'd be, that's ludicrous. Then again, do we... I guess we do have that, don't we? A, B, C. You very rarely use... Yeah. You very rarely use the letter C as C, the sound. Um, But... Yeah, apparently, apparently Zeta is pronounced like the SD in wisdom. Zd. What? Zd. 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 Wisd. No, no, not wisdom. How often does that one come up in I, the English language? I do wonder. Well, the Greeks probably using it all the time. That's the thing. I mean, I guess if they've got a whole letter dedicated to it. Oh, yeah. Luke, I found in my research, there's a Wikipedia page for letter-like symbols. What does that mean? Which is basically a bunch of symbols in Unicode which look like letters, but aren't letters. It's one of those Wikipedia pages letter where I do wonder like why it symbol. exists. I've sent you a link. Oh, it's okay, I found it. You know, you've you've got like... Just kidding, no, I haven't. <laughs> you've got numero sign, which is a little N and then a little numero. O. You've got one that's just a fancy-looking R. You've got a few fancy-looking wow, yeah, R's. No, you're right. This is the stupidest Yeah. You've got database. An, you've got an upside-down Omega. And a regular uh, how about Omega. the Kelvin sign, which is just a K. Oh, that is like, cheating. Same with Celsius, and I presume Fahrenheit. And I presume, do they have? Oh. Luke, it's time for it's time for playing favorites trivia time. Trivia. Yep. So you're familiar with Celsius and Fahrenheit, right? I'm a familiar. Okay. Yes. You're now familiar with Kelvin as well, aren't you? Yeah. yeah now mm-hmm. Kelvin's notable because it uses the the same units as Celsius. But it starts but from absolute starts zero. zero. Okay. Are you familiar with the Rankine index or the Rankine scale? I'm not. I knew you wouldn't be, and that's why <laughs> I'm here today. <laughs> um, the Rankine scale use it starts at the same place as Kelvin, but it uses but it the uses unit. Fahrenheit. It uses Fahrenheit as units. There's probably a good reason why you've never heard of the Rankine scale because it's yeah, cause fucking ever... stupid. <laughs> why would you? <laughs> I don't know. It was named after a Glasgow University engineer. Oh, and also some it other guy. It was like, oh, no one else has fucked with this Yeah, before. no one else has done this, so fuck it. Literally, the, it's got the shortest Wikipedia page in the world. It doesn't tell me why I should give a shit. This rubbish. It sucks. Yeah, and that uses a little R, or a little RA. So there you go. Oh, that's a, that's a funny... Letters are good to, to represent things, to no one's they surprise. X. But I guess my favorite example of that would be on the periodic table because that, that's quite cool. And you've got little combinations of of letters as well. Did you know, Luke? Here we go. It's playing favorites trivia, fun trivia time. Trivia. Yeah. No J on the periodic table anywhere. But not at all. No, not a single J. I've literally I've gone to ptable.com. dot com. Let's have a look. Periodic table. I've done Control F and I've put P the letter table. J. Yeah, I'm looking at the P table. I just I googled periodic table wrong, but we don't need to talk about that. Yeah, no, it's that's fine. Um, yeah, not a single J on there anywhere. Not, not a single J. I think. When do you think we're gonna get one? There was a proposed j- 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 Japanium, 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 which would be the first. There'll be the first J. Although that was that was a couple of years I mean, ago, I think. There's definitely going to be an element that has J in it, right? Holy shit! I'm no, looking and I can't. There see isn't one. a single one. There literally it there, does not appear. Are there any Z- Z's? Uh, yeah, in uh, zinc. There you go. Shit, you're right. It's even got its own. Because, oh, we played a great game in, like, Year 9 Science, which was who can make the longest word using the periodic table and well, letters. I didn't have any J's in it. Yeah, no, well, you're you shit out of luck if that's the case. I think I managed to get, like, oh, I can't remember, like, technology or something. There's going to be a real answer to this. Yeah. Longest word you, got you can make. Tellurium. It, we're playing a record. Yeah, here we go. Play a record. It's the <laughs> longest word you can make with the periodic table. And it's symbols. Longest word you can make with the periodic table. Uh, the word is 23 letters long. What? It's non-representationalisms. 
Holy fuck. So N-O, nitrogen oxide. We don't need to go through the whole thing. Does it see? Does it break it down by like... It, it, hold on. We'll find it. Yes, it do. Oh, fantastic. It can be written in multiple different ways. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Because you can use the same letter multiple times, obviously. I didn't uh, I don't know why I didn't think about uh, I that. I guess so. That feels like cheating, but okay. F- fine. Fair um, enough. Well, that way you could just make, I don't know, because you've got like B, C, N, O, F, P, S, and I. They're all on their own. Oh, H no, wait, hold on. on. There, there's one that is um, longest word using different elemental symbols. Ah, okay. There you go. Um... What we got? The longest word is irresponsibilities. Oh, that's that's a good one. Okay, iris, so iridium, IR. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. I lo- <laughs> my favorite part about this website is it doesn't actually write out the word normally. It <laughs> has chosen to only write it with the periodic table. Uh, symbols, oh, great! That's which makes it really hard to read. Yeah, that's what. Wow, that's really good and helpful. So thanks, website. Um, great. Hyper consciousness can also be written. That that's just a fucking great word hyper consciousness yeah i have no idea what, what the hell that is that i'm gonna look that up right now no, hyper conscious is acutely or excessively aware of something it makes sense there is no way to train as a dancer and not be hyper conscious of the way you look thanks google for that little <laughs> example wow um i mean we've just made a new alphabet have we yeah what the periodic table it's our alphabet. oh my god it's the official playing favorites alphabet can we spell playing favorites Oh, fuck. This is right. a good question. PL. Is there a PL? There's a P, so you can take phosphorus and yeah. then lanthan- lanthanum. Lanth- uh, yeah, so lanthanum. PL. Okay, and that gives Yttrium you Yttrium is Y. Yeah, I remember that. I is iodine. Iodine. Or is there an is I-N? N-G? Can we get an I-N? I-N? Uh, there's N-I. Uh, there's an I-N. <laughs> well, that's not going to help, is it? <laughs> uh, okay, maybe not. Maybe there's no... Oh, that's annoying. Okay. But we need NG, which I also don't think is the... Yeah, I we, think might we might have come unstuck. Ah, look. Oh, no. We got close, though. Play it. <laughs> we got play it. You gotta wonder why they didn't just, like, get those ones out, right? What, the first 26 are just... Yeah, like, why not just, like... I don't know, but I kind of like that they that they didn't. Like, why is Astatine AT? Why is it not just A? I don't know, Luke. But why, you know... Why? Why are the? Why did the the lanthanides and actinides feel like they've got to be different and have their own little table at the bottom there? Like you know, th- these questions are more. That one probably has I a scientific ask reason. A chemist, if yeah. I... <laughs> that one probably actually has a reason, but I don't know. Well, let lead come. That's PB, which comes from like plumbum. P- plumbum, yeah. Plumbum. And gold is AU, which comes from auric. There you go. Well, that that's like um. Oh, there you go. To tie it all back in, that's kind of that's representative of like language change. You know how like you know language change and stuff. How like our words come from like Latin words, and Latin came from I don't know someone made it up or something. Where does, where does, <laughs> yeah, someone made it all up. Where does Latin come? That's why I'm with Korean, right? Korean. Someone was just like, yeah. Yeah, one dude sat that. We haven't even spoken about the Korean alphabet being the best alphabet. Is that the one where like it looks like the shapes you're supposed to make with your mouth yeah with your mouth that's quite cool and like one dude just sat down it was a king and he sat down and he's like you know what fuck this <laughs> fuck the you know chinese alphabet this shit sucks yeah i'm making my own let's do your own one does that make korean like easy to learn then or easier to learn apparently it's it's quite easy to learn or yeah at least easier do you think we could do it this episode yeah, sure. Let's have a look at some Korean. Should we letters. learn Korean. Uh, well, let's look at what learn Korean live. Okay, let's look at what playing favorites is. It's called Hangul in it's Korean. The, uh, it's what the actual language is called. Ah, oh, okay, that's good to know. Um, Korean. Yeah, because it's all like designed, and all of the like, the way that consonants and vowels sort of combine. Mm. So a single letter would be a consonant and a vowel. Right. And you could just read it, and it's like there. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, you know, it's not too different from how, you know, in the English alphabet, if I have a K and an A next to each other, yeah. that's K. Yeah, you, instead, you know that would what's be a single about. letter in Korean. Uh, yeah, they have that. And also, it doesn't have the weird, stupid, <laughs> like, you know, a K and an A next to each other are usually K, but if I've got an S and an H, it's shh. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of, because I know that there's a few languages that have, like, what we use as two separate letters. Like, I think there is yeah. a CH in the Welsh alphabet. And then, like, in Germany, you've got that, that weird B. You know that weird B in German? You know the weird German B? B. Oh, I know the weird... The, the Seuss. Yeah, sure. That, that one, it's like a double S sound or whatever. Um, which is why in the Grand Theft Auto V, there is the... Juice. There is the, the piss 
piss piss water. It's a brand of beer, but it's pib. Mm-hmm. It's got the weird German B. It's just like pi pib pib water pib water. That weird B is two S's, Harry. Yeah. So like it's in 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 the game, it's piss water because it's the weird B. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. I got you. Glad I had to really ram that joke into the ground. Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it went really well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I've looked at what playing favorites is in Korean. Um, I can't read it. Apparently, Google Translate will speak it to me. I mean, I, I can help you out, but it's probably pronounced something close to playing favorites. Absolutely not, Luke. That's not how language works. Oh, you're looking. Oh, you're looking <laughs> for. I thought you were doing it phonetically, not like. Well, even what, for, the, how, what are these two words? How the fuck in, am I going to? Because that's how it's done in like Japanese. Is like if you translate a word into. Um, from English into Japanese, typically you just use the Japanese alphabet to make the word. Oh, okay. Like phonet- so that's why, like you know, stuff like um, television. Mm. Television in Japanese is telebi. Yeah, because it's literally just you know they use their own letters to replace the words <laughs> that we have. Nice. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to Welsh because the word photosynthesis in Welsh is photosynthesis. It's but it's yeah. spelt F F O and then the rest of the word photosynthesis. So they're yeah, just like they just mean, put that little Welsh touch, that little Welsh touch on there, and then That's how a lot of words go though, right? Uh yeah, I guess so. I mean yeah, it's it's they adapt so I saw a, a thread on Reddit recently that was like, yeah, we we have little phrases like, you know, Poke no los dos and things like that that have just made it over from other languages. Are there any English phrases that made it over? Apparently okay. Just okay. That's like used in many other places in the world. Lots of languages. Yeah, because yeah. it it just uh, short, simple, makes makes sense, translates well, easy to understand. Fuck, we very recently. Oh, this didn't occur to me. We very recently did an episode on emojis. Yes. How do we know that language that letters are even going to be allowed? Uh, allowed? Letters, allowed. All <laughs> alphabets turn into emojis. Emoji. Oh, you communicate right. using solely the meaning conveyed by the emoji. We talked about this. We talked about like like on the long lasting nuclear warnings or whatever. How do you how do you make something that lasts into the future? We're like maybe it's emojis. Maybe <laughs> maybe because then then we'll have come full circle because we started with hieroglyphs. Hieroglyphs of ter- holy shit, you're right. And language has come full circle. Oh, in that that's what a wonderful bit of poetry for humanity. Uh, the issue is you can't like read emoji out loud. Yeah, you can. You just Which use your face. Mainly the reason why we switch to letters. It'll become like it'll become like sign language. You just, instead, you're just using your face. You just make little smiley faces, and so you don't actually like talk anymore yeah you, you just <laughs> you just use yeah and like that's gonna really suck for blind people oh god yeah okay no we can we can adapt and then they'll and then like sign language will and normal language will swap roles so then like for you know knowing how to speak a language with your with your sound mouth that will mm-hmm. that will become like a ooh, oh wow you can actually speak that's really interesting. And most people will just use facial expressions like emojis. Because that's all they've ever known, Luke. These fucking youths, they've all, all they've fucking known is emojis. This is your, like, Harry's new sci-fi novel <laughs> set in the distant future. It's like the most passive, bland, boring... And the main character is, you know, blind. Yeah, and... And, and it's all about... I don't fucking know. I can't come up with a sci-fi novel. We got a good... Good thing going here, though. We could really make this one Maybe. Work. I mean, you know, there is... It is sort of missing a plot and characters, but, you know, we've got a gimmick. <laughs> it's missing some of the major <laughs> things that we... We've got a gimmick. That's all you need, right? You just need a gimmick, and then you can make art. Like, I think that's how that works. Yeah, so, no, I think you're right. Yeah. Well, speaking of me being right, Luke, I think it's time for us to to hear some some listener responses. Because th- this, this, this one's great. I love this as a as a... A topic for today's episode because it's almost entirely arbitrary. It's completely arbitrary, and everyone can weigh in on it. Not everyone has a favorite type of sword, or a no. Not everyone wears coats, you know. But everyone has language. I think. I'm sorry if there's people who don't. Most people, yeah. I will say, yeah. Surprisingly, yeah. We got very few repeat repeat responses. Surprisingly, we got few repeats. Yeah. I would have been expecting. Is, I think that's surprising, considering we've got tw- we've, there's only twenty six of them, right? And no one's saying, you know, R is my favorite letter. I don't know. I'm sure I'm there's, there's got to be at least one guy out there. Like, surely. <laughs> I mean, probably, right? But I like, I wouldn't want to meet him. But yeah, we we got some some responses, and we're gonna go through them. So hit me with one. We've got 
let's just go down the list. Thank you, Cass, for writing in. Cass, it's gone with uh, the le- the the last letter of the alphabet. Z. I there was a reason I didn't say it out loud. Ah, you've got me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Z. I baited him into a trap. We're we doing Z. Is that what we're doing? Z or Z? But that's the point that Cass makes, and why it's Cass's favorite is because no one fucking know. No one has decided. Wait. Which, which do you prefer? I, I mean Z. Really? Z is how it is pronounced. Like in a sentence. Yeah. Like if I have a word with a Z in it. Like zebra. Yeah. It's not Z. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's got me. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's it's its name. It's like you know, it's like C. You know, you don't. You very yeah, rarely no, do you right. say it like that. Um, I do. I like Z as well. I like I'm Z. Usually like. If if I was to say it, I would say Z. Yeah. Um. I think that is also partially because like half of our letters rhyme, Ooh. so it does help to distinguish Z from C or V or B or yeah, G. Yeah. Oh, good point. Or... <laughs> yeah. Any of the others. Yeah. No, that's fair. I'm I'm surprised. I'm as as the most American Englishman I've ever met. You know, talking about your trash and your garage and all that shit. I would have thought you'd, well, you've been converted. Yeah. To Z. No, I don't say Z. But I quite like. I think. I think Z. I always feel like it's an underdog, but I quite like um, as saying Z versus Z. Um, but I, I quite like Z as a letter. Very cool, you know, like a Z. Like is it Zorro who uses like a they do like a Z? Yeah, he does. A Z. It is. I like the letters that are um, sharp. I suppose you know they're they're distinct lines. Ah, that's yeah. why I typically <laughs> prefer uppercase to lowercase. Yeah, okay, that's reasonable. Because like you know. You can't write a lowercase a in a cool way. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, yeah. But um, yeah, we're, yeah, we're the ones like um, I'm trying to have, I've quickly pulled up the the Wikipedia page for the Latin alphabet just so I can look at the fucking. Just, I guess I could just look down at my keyboard, couldn't I? But <laughs> I mean, that's know. one way of doing it. Um, yeah, like a I don't know what are the good letters like L just down across. <laughs> yeah, you know that's. No, I don't think I think most of the cool letters are symmetrical. But. Except for Z. Yeah, <laughs> okay. But um, Z is symmetrical. Is it? Yeah, just not from... Oh, okay. A di- uh, no, wait, no, it isn't. Yeah, it is. Which way? Um... <laughs> <laughs> that way. Oh, that way, right. Diagonal. Okay. Diagonal. No, it isn't. Yeah, if you go through the okay, Z. Yeah, through the line of the Z. Okay, now try, yeah. now try folding that over like you're doing a butterfly painting. Yeah, it's symmetrical. All right, Luke. Next, uh, I think we got two responses, three responses. Wow, so much for a few repeats. Well, you know, you'll figure it out in a mo. Yeah, it's E. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that the most used letter was the most. The most used one responded. is the most common. Wow, in our little in our little little uh, call out. Oh wow, that was one of the reasonings given. Thank you, Matt. Matt yeah. wrote in saying that E, because it's Excellent. the most common, most used letter in the alphabet, where would we be without it? Yeah, where would we be without it? And <laughs> yeah, I guess... Oh, well, there is that, there's that whole book that's written without the letter E in it, right? Oh yeah, I think I've heard of that. I don't know what it's called, but... I, uh, probably not something with an E Future in Harry it. will track that down for the show notes, I'm sure. No, I found it. Oh, nice. It's okay, I've already done it. Uh, it's Gatsby. Um... But not the Great Gatsby, just, specifically just, just Gatsby. Quite a normal and, and temperate Gatsby. Yeah. yeah okay. um, it's a 50,000 word novel without the letter E. Unfortunately written by a man called Ernest. Oh, um, poor guy. Or just Ernest. <laughs> no, Ernest. To be fair, you could say Ernest without an E. I-R- yeah, I R. I R N I S T. Just replace all the E's with I's. Yeah, fine. fuck it. I'll, I'll do. Language is what, whatever you make of it. Just make it all up. It's all made up anyway. Whatever. But yeah, I don't like E. Oh, shit. Okay. I appreciate it. It does a lot of legwork in the English language. I can really... I it, respect yes. it. But there's a letter on its own. It just looks a bit bit lame. Like, I just... I do think lowercase E is probably the lamest looking letter. Yeah. Uppercase is standing up for itself a little bit. You know, a capital E is... Mm-hmm. Maybe, but it's got something at the very least. But I don't know. I don't know if it's 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 symmetry or it's or it's squareness or, or mm-hmm. it's rectangularness, I guess. Or and you know, it's, it's sort of a pattern. It's like line gap, line gap, line from the top to bottom. 
a line gap, line gap, line. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, uh, it's, it's just not very appealing, isn't? It? When you look at Z, for, for example, you know, which is bam, bam, bam. It's do its own thing. It's got sharp points. You do it's... have to do quite a lot of lines to do an E. How do you draw? How do you do a capital E? How do you write the, it? The the backbone. What? And then the remaining lines, all individually. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. Wow. Th- this is fascinating. I, Why? How do you? Do I it? would start at the the top right, so with the, the edge of the top line. Yeah, and do like a capital C, and then a yeah, middle. like a across, down, back across, and then add that little middle line. Wow, I'd love to see your handwriting. I also think I don't actually do what I just said. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't remember how I handwrite things because. When was the last time you hand wrote anything? Probably quite recently. Um, being a yeah, you just, and also I have this art tablet, so I just I can write stuff for that. I guess. Um, but like, I just don't handwrite stuff very often. Yeah, it doesn't happen. Need. Oh, like, yeah, like. Could, I, could you put a little? Could you give us a little handwriting sample to put in the show notes? Just write out the I alphabet. Definitely could. <gasps> oh um, man, okay, that'd be a fun. That's a fun little one. That's one definitely worth checking out. I'm gonna check that one out. I look forward to that. Can you do that right now? To... I'll cut all this. Can you just do uh, that? Yeah, like, sure. yeah. Oh my god, guys, he's actually doing it. Oh, I might leave this in now. Oh. Oh, are you doing it digitally? Yeah. Oh. I'm not going to fucking find a pen. Can you find a pen? You have a pen lying around. I don't have a pen lying around because I don't live in the 1800s. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a controversial statement. I'm just going to leave that one alone. <laughs> Look, I, it's just doesn't, I don't need it. Uh, yeah, all right. It's what a fucking. I, need a pen for? I don't know. I just thought you might have at least one in the house somewhere. Yeah, I mean, there's probably one in the house. But I've got like. My point. I, I've just opened a drawer. I can see at least five. Okay, well you're a university student. Yeah, I know, but like. You need a pen. Yeah, I've got, I always have a pen in my pocket. I've always got one to hand. Literally come up with. Come up with one scenario in which I would need a pen. You need to suddenly fill out a form. I do it online. <laughs> I'm talking, like you're in the street, and well, it doesn't help me if I'm in the street. So one gives you a form. If I have a pen in my yes, house. Yes, it does. No, I'm talking about. They're gonna have if they suddenly give me a form in the middle of the street. <laughs> they're gonna have a pen on. And me. also, you are absolutely not filling that form out <laughs> under no circumstances. Oh, so yeah. But like, like I don't know. Like I, I always have a pen in my pocket, in my miscellaneous pocket. It's really useful to have because it's like, you know, oh, if you just write your name down here, like a. Spe- Especially in current year, when there's a global pandemic going on, and sometimes you have to write down your. No one's asking you to fill a form. Yeah, right. Oh, can you? Yeah, just write down your phone number and name, just in case we have to. You know, someone's had COVID or whatever, and you know, you you write down your your name, and you you don't want to touch previously used pens because they've got disgusting coronavirus on them. So you whip out your own pen. I've had this happen at least twice. I win. Oh, I'm very proud of you, Harry. <laughs> I win. So um, I don't know. I I think it's useful. Right. What am I writing? Just write the alphabet. Write write the word playing favorites and then write the the alphabet as well. Also, I need to find somewhere where I can write this. So I think I'll have to open Photoshop. Open Paint. I really just have awful handwriting. <laughs> Fuck, I might do this as well now. I hope you know we're going to be we're going to be chastised about this in Someone's going to fucking email. like steal our handwriting. That thing? No, but I like to imagine it. Oh, wow. Oh, you have much better handwriting than me. Oh, man. I don't know if I- to be fair, I... Um, oh, this is really good. <laughs> Luke. I, I can write in, like, cursive as well. But I'm really... My handwriting's way, like... I'll send you mine. ...worse when I'm in cursive. There's mine. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. My handwriting is much better. So <laughs> much better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at it. Wow. I thought you were going to have, like, proper doctor's handwriting. Like I have I have pretty bad handwriting. What are you if, talking about? If you look at my handwriting in cursive, it, it's not as good. Oh, yours looks like a font. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Oh, look look at that Y. Well. Look at that Y in playing Wait. and tell me that isn't a font. Yeah, when I write like that, I mean, that's fair. I do I do that for show mainly. Oh, I, okay. When I was younger... Yeah. <laughs> it's a weird thing. When I was younger, I used to get told off by my teachers. Because yeah. when I did the lines in T's, I'd do them across the whole page. <laughs> <laughs> I would do, like, really dramatic, <laughs> sweeping lines across my T's. Wow. Oh, my God. Just for a bit of extra flair. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's um, amazing. <laughs> I distinctly remember getting told off by my teacher because they were like, 
Why do? You, why are you doing? This? Why are you so dramatic? All right, Luke, give us. Go, go on. Let's let's try and stay back yeah, on track. Give I us another know. one. Give us another answer. Uh, did I close the page that had all the Twitter responses on? No, we're okay. Um, okay, we'll we'll go for some of the more interesting ones. Okay. Because the, the other ones are just letters in the alphabet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which you know is totally valid. God forbid. Ones, but yeah. We've only got time for one more. Yeah. Do it. Go um. On. So this one, it's from. Uh, your brother, Harry. He's back. He's back. Right. And I actually think his answer is very interesting. So I've oh, yeah. decided that next episode we record, I'm going to get your brother on. Oh, great. Um, to replace me. Because, yeah. This is, he's answered with... Um, so I know... I'm familiar with this letter because I studied uh, mi- Middle English. Oh, uh, you're a lit- literature man. Yeah, um, okay. But it's a... Th- or yeah. a thorn. Um, a thorn? And it c- kind of looks like a... P and a B, but they've been combined into one super letter. Oh, powers combined. Um, ah, okay, yeah, I've, I've Googled, uh, okay, yeah, I found the Wikipedia page. Yeah, it's like a, ooh, it's like a lowercase B, oh, you've typed it in Discord for me. I've sent you it in Discord, the, yeah. the, It's like a, yeah, like a lowercase B that's like, the stem has gone too far and rooted itself in the ground. Yeah. It's like, extended, yeah, okay. And I think this is a good letter. I think this this is one that we we could still use today. I disagree. Well, I mean, it's a th. So it, this makes the th sound. It's t. It's th. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Which is like you know yeah, similar to the th as an English word e- thick. Yeah. Either either we have th- there you go. There's one. Yep. Either we have two letters that represent one sound. Yeah. Or we could have one letter that does this one sound for us. I agree. I think we could do, and we could do that for ch and sh as well, because they're like the three you learn. You learn th, ch, and yeah, sh. Yeah, when you. You're right. Yeah, we'll get some for ch and sh. I think we used to have one Maybe. for ch actually. But I don't um, think this is a good looking letter, because it's, okay. Well, we can redesign you, it. It doesn't. Yeah, have to. you got to keep in mind because I'm looking at the Wikipedia page right now. It's got four designs in the picture, and like the bottom two look quite mm. cool. Like they've got like it's a serif font with the little wibbly bits sticking out, and like. They're quite good, but you got to remember that when you people when you write a letter, you're not giving it all these little little flourishes and yeah, little the, lines and the stuff. San- so, serif. So in reality, it's going to look like the top left of these images, which is just a line and it's then like a little bad. thimble right. sticking out the side, which looks a bit naff. But I think like most English letters kind of look a bit naff if you're judging them in that regard, because like E that we were just talking about. That kind of E, yeah, that sucks. Mm. And you stick some serif on that bad boy. Yeah, then it's all right. Hell yeah, I so love that E. That. It's got, like, cool the, there is a, bits to it. There is a variation. I think this is probably how I would write a thorn. Is There's a variation where it looks like a little loop-de-loop. Like you're, like you're moving the pen like it's riding a loop-de-loop going from top to bottom. So like yeah, you, you do go like down and then yeah, start to curve, wee, go around the loop-de-loop and then carry on that line. <laughs> And that yeah. actually looks, that's a bit more rounded, and that looks, yeah, a bit more akin to something you'd be familiar with. It looks a bit more like an O with a, a line sort of uh, touching it, yeah. which I, I think that's interesting. We're done. Are there any more letters, and any more interesting list of ones that caught your eye? Or No. Uh, it sounds like we had a good spread. It sounds like, um, it sounds like we've got some good ones in there. We I guess... did have some good ones. I was, uh, I'm very proud of you. Yeah, now it's time Listeners. for our one, our, our favourites. Um, um, and it's an interesting one to try and guess. How would I guess what Luke Cobb's favorite letter is? I know, I've known you for many years now. You have. Um, I'm trying to think about things we spoke about before we started recording. Um, we looked at a bunch of pictures I have of you. We're talking yeah, about we're talking about naps. Maybe uh, maybe uh, maybe that was like a subconscious clue. You were the one who brought that up. That's a good point. Maybe maybe like. I I think so. You, what you said about the letter E, I can draw from that. I think I think that your favorite letter has it come up? Has it come up on the yeah. in our discussion? I mean, <laughs> there's only twenty six. Like, <laughs> I think yeah. we've mentioned every letter. No, we haven't. Point. We haven't mentioned V. Yeah, we have. Because oh. we talked about it when we did the. Oh, periodic oh wow! Because we did we did J when we did the periodic table. Yep. Oh, G. I don't know if we've done G. We did. Really? Why? Because you told me to st- go from the alphabet, starting from the letter G. Oh my god! What, H? Did we do H? Um. Oh, I don't know if we did. oh, I called it out an example at one point when I, when when you did multiple syllable letters, and one of the yeah. ones I named I went yeah. A H. Right. Holy, that's really cool. 
<laughs> so, I mean, like, there's only 26. I know. Like, it... Oh, did we didn't do T, did we? We didn't touch on T. No, we might have never said T this entire oh, episode. Oh, no. I bet, listeners, it's good to go exp- back through. Go back, <laughs> find it, and let us know. Tweet us at Play Favorites. <laughs> Um, give let us know. Let us know the deets. God, that'd right. be so sad to be the one. Well, letter. Ah, but now, Luke, we have mentioned it. <laughs> yeah, we have kind of covered our base. Well, let's get, cover our bases. A, a, B, C, C oh, D. E F G H J K L M N O P Q R S T U V Okay, now I, the completionist inside of me. I mean, we have definitely gone through the alphabet. Okay, fine, fantastic. And your times. your favorite, Luke, out of all of these, you you think you were going to throw me off is K. That's your favorite. No. Okay. Oh, am I close? Why do you think it was K? It came up right near the beginning. You seemed enthusiastic okay, about sure. it. It's a good noise. I good do letter. like K. It's a yeah. good one. Looks looks visually interesting. Uh, you are very close. Because my favourite letter is L, Harry. L. So it's, it's the first letter of my name. <laughs> Luke. Okay. Is that the? It's <laughs> probably the letter that I have wrote the most. Yeah. Other than B, and that's just because I have two of them in my name. Oh, b- 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 yeah, no. <laughs> like, I, I think, like, the thing I have written the most is my own name. Is right? it? Right? That doesn't seem true Other at all. Other than, like, the word the, yeah. I suppose. And ah. But I, and, I mean, and. like, distinct, you know, <laughs> things with meaning. Yeah, fine, okay. But even like, then. There's so many times know, like, where I've just put my name on something. Yeah, okay. That's, I remember when I was a kid, that was the first thing I learned. Your name? How to write. Yeah. And yeah, my name and how to write my name. It's a good one. Like, you know, it's it's very quick to write. There's no back and forth. It's down across. Mm-hmm. Psh, psh, yep. as we, we took. It's a pretty common one. It's in a lot of words. A lot of my favorite words start with L. Such as? Lavish. Uh, luxurious. <laughs> um, no one came to- <laughs> I love how quickly they came to you. <laughs> I mean, look. <laughs> I've thought about this a lot. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I think my main gripe with the letter L is it's often confused. Like, lowercase L is sometimes just a An I, just yeah. a line. That really gets yeah. me, man. That really yeah, gets no, me. Yeah, no, I do, I do agree, but I don't think you can judge a letter based off of its lowercase. Because really? then we have to talk about, like, no, you man, know, the whole It's Q. all whole. It's, it's all part of it. It's all... all... Like, Uppercase Q, good. Yeah. Lowercase Q sucks mm, a lot. No, I actually like it's an underdog. I really like it. I actually really All like right. it. But you know that's Nerd. <laughs> that's why we're you know it's playing favorites. It's all about our opinions. You know, that's fair enough. Do you have any like fun trivia about the letter L? I have the Wikipedia page for my favorite letter to hand. Uh, I haven't looked at the Wikipedia page for L. For the letter but I'm L, I'm sure I could come up with something. It is literally um, Wikipedia.org/slash/wiki/slash/L. L, yeah. No. Yeah. Um, oh wow. Okay. Here's a weird one. Go Apparently, on. the pound sign comes from L. Which oh, is something I hadn't sense. even thought about, but like it makes sense, huh? Yeah, I'm looking at the Wikipedia page for L. Yeah, it's got that sort of curls down and then flops over itself. I don't know frame. why it would be an because oh, it's a pound, like like an. Sure. Like pound as in weight, which has an L. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's it's a weird one. It's a good letter. I do like the letter L quite a lot. Capital's good. Sometimes a bit of a problem with the lowercase. But yeah, yeah. You know, th- these things happen. I get that. I'm not trying to think about if our favorite letters go together in any way. They actually do. You can. They do. They do crop up next to each other periodically. Quite a lot. <laughs> it's yours also L. <laughs> <laughs> Double L. No, no, it isn't. Um. Okay. It well, has been said I mean, this episode outside that stupid segment we just did. Okay. Uh quite prominently. Probably, and in fact, eagle-eared listeners will definitely be able to pick out the moment. <laughs> wait, did you say something earlier? Absolutely. Was... If, if this episode, if you re-listen to this episode, there is a moment where it, it's, it's fucking foreshadowing. Blatantly obvious. It's got to be like Fuck! It, knowing you, <laughs> yeah, it's probably W or like, yeah. I'm gonna say W. You saying W? Um, despite the fact I li- did literally say W is probably my least favorite. Letter oh yeah, no, you did say that. Um, <laughs> um, wait, can I change okay? my answer? <laughs> oh, all right, go on. <laughs> Be quick. Uh, I'm gonna go X. X. Good. Good one. I don't like it. Uh, you know, it looks cool, I guess, but it's not very useful. It's going to be Z. Z is, Z is, is a, a, a good one. That's going to be but Y. But no. No. Okay, <laughs> you well. can't just go through them all. I thought Luke, it was going to be the last four, okay? I don't know if you remember, but earlier in the episode, you said, 
Oh, yeah, there's probably not many people out there whose favourite letter is R. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> and I laughed along and said, Oh, yeah, no, I wouldn't want to meet that guy. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Because <laughs> my favourite letter is the letter R. Why? Not why, R. <laughs> why? <laughs> no, Luke. Yeah, I because hate. I have a number of reasons. I have no reason. Okay. It looks cool. I think it looks cool. It's got the little kicky out bit that, that K has, mm-hmm. um, plus a little loop as well. That's nice. It is. It looks good and sounds good. It sounds good to say and can be rolled. You can roll your R's. You can roll your R's. That is good. You can you can roll your R's. There you go. That's a nice transition there, um, which is very fun to do and, and cool. Also, now this is a pivotal moment, Luke, because I can remember when this letter became my favorite in year five. Wow. I remember... Because we were playing Hangman in the you class. Said R and it was in like every <laughs> gap. R, S, and T are a great trio. Once you've done the vowels, right. R, S, and T are a great combo. T is very common, goes with a lot of them. S obviously comes on the end a lot of the time or in somewhere. And R, you know, because it goes, it combos with a lot of letters. Great one to go for. And that's why I like it for all, for all those reasons. It's got a lot going for it. Um, I can see on the Wikipedia page, it's got its history. Frustratingly, Luke, you'd think all of the Wikipedia page for the, the Latin letters would be similarly formatted, but they're absolutely not. Um, but on the, on the one for R, I can see a little history table. Um, so I can see, like, it came from the, there's the Phoenician Resh, which looks like a little flag, a little triangle. The Egyptian hieroglyph looks like a little man with an afro. That's quite yeah, cool. Um, there's and then it sort of developed into what looks like a P and then it began it actually grew the little it grew a little stick little leg. over time yeah yeah it sort of uh, elongated into into what we would know as an R today um and I think it's great how do you feel about the letter R Luke earlier on I did say I don't think anyone has the letter R as their favorite except for pirates um yes you did say that I do stand by that opinion um you call me a pirate Luke I am yeah all right I'm, it's, yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, it's just one of those in-between letters for me. Like, mm-hmm. I just, you know, if I'm writing a sentence, I'll write an R and I'll be like, yep, that's an R. You know, <laughs> I don't... That's a great quote for the episode. Like, it's not like an X and I write an X. Like, if oh, I'm yeah. writing a sentence and an X, X comes shows up. up, I notice Yeah, it. same like, with Z. Oh. Yeah, no, that's, okay, That's make that makes sense. I get that. But I think, I think it's because it's part of a set for me. That R- RST. RST is yeah, a nice little run. I do, but... I mean, you can't do RST without the Q right at the start of Q- it, because that R- really powers it up, in my opinion. That Q is, a, yeah, that, that gives it the, the kick, and then QRST. Yeah, okay, no, yeah. I, I'll actually accept that, yeah. That's fair. Q also being another letter, where it's... Um... It is another letter, you're right. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Really. It's one of 26. <laughs> my God, yeah. I love how arbitrary this entire episode has been. It is entire. There is like, no... Everything we just said for the last 10 minutes, like, yeah. just completely no meaningless. real reason. <laughs> yeah. But um, literally, the reason L is my favorite is because of the start of my name. That's it. Yeah, that's all I've I got. I have two R's in my name, so that, that checks. Out. Oh, do. three in the what, full name. Three. Yeah, in full name. But I think that really lowers the because I only have one L in my name. It's right in the yeah, start, and it's the capital. It's you know, it's capital. Yeah, and there's no way my favorite's gonna be fucking C. Are you kidding me? Yeah, see, I, 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 I get that because ABC, ABC, they're like the three overdone. I've heard enough. I think A can be your favorite. A is like, a good one because it's fair. yeah, it's the it's the the it's flagship. Alpha. Yeah, it's the beginning. Um, you know, which is which is pretty big. It's got a lot of responsibility on A. B and C mm-hmm. though, they're just riding the they're the knuckles and tails to to A's Sonic. Like it, it just doesn't <laughs> doesn't stand up. They don't stand up on their own. Um, and then you get into your real yeah. real meat and gravy, the alphabet, which for me is that QRST. Yeah, there you go. Uh, that sounds like an episode to me, Luke. Uh, but hold on. Yeah. One last thing. Yeah? Don't you think it's weird that in the first five letters of the alphabet, four of them rhyme? A, B, C, D, E. And then F, G. And then G. And then E, G, K, L, M, N, U, E, K, K, G, K, C, Oh my god, we've gone mad. Luke, let's end the episode. Me, me, Quick. Thank you, everyone, for listening. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Episode, oh, crack around 15. Episode 15 of Playing Favorites. Luke, do you think that people notice that we intentionally swapped the order of 13 and 14? Because 13 no is a spooky it, Halloween so number. So I'm assuming no one meant, no one noticed. I guess so. Someone Or if people did know, I imagine there's at least one person who noticed, thought we made a genuine mistake, yeah. and just thought, I won't mention it. Don't want to it. mention it. Well, I thought this, because someone in my, in my life found out I have a podcast. 
in, like mm-hmm. after, after the Halloween special came out. And they were like, oh, let me look that up on iTunes or whatever. And it, the first thing they would have seen is that 13 and 14 are the other way around. Oh, the wrong way around. And they didn't say anything. And I'm like, do they just not give a shit? Or do they think, oh my God, this man is stupid. He can't count. He's a big, stupid dum dum. <laughs> I don't know. But um, that's. Harry, what, what's the over under on his titling this episode? Episode. Uh, t- fuck, what's the 15th letter on the alphabet? Oh my God. He is. H, oh. H is eight. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, there's no way we're entitling the episode. Episode O. o. That sucks. Wait, but what's the Greek alphabet? O. Uh, Omicron. Oh. oh. <laughs> episode Omicron. Episode Omicron. Ooh, that is that is tempting. But the thing is, it just looks like an O. <laughs> it looks like an O. So. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we'd be. This is honorary episode Omicron because that's Omicron. that is awesome. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed listening to episode Omicron of Playing Favourites. Uh, if you want to get in contact with us, uh, we are on, on Twitter at Play Favourites. Remember, Favourites has a U in it, F A V O U R I T E S. Uh, and you can also email in uh, Playing Favourites Podcast at gmail.com with uh, episode ideas, uh, your favourite favorite letter of the alphabet we loved here, um, and who you think had the better opinion. We do Twitter polls uh, if you had the, the, the best opinion. And I won the last Not one. Not doing so great. By a landslide. For, uh, <laughs> for Halloween, for spooky monsters. Ha- uh, Halloween <laughs> Halloween monsters. Spooky robots. Not not a fan favourite. <laughs> but people, people don't really agree with Harry's opinion on the Iron but, Giant. But that's, being a no, we've monster. done this. It's all been it's all been said and done. Um, but yeah, so you can get in, get in touch there. All right, fantastic. Luke, final word that's on it. letters. Uh, I really wish I had a funny joke prepared. Omega. That's it. Oh, it's perfect because we end on Omega. I am the Alpha and the Omega. Nice. That's that's a Bible quote. Oh. <laughs> Just end on a quick quick passage there. I ended a little biblical little, message. Little for verse. You guys. <laughs> Fantastic.